look awful. My goodness. But whatever. It's uh, this is the reality of depression, baby. Depression. Hey everybody, my name is Jenny and I am standing in my messy ass dining room. I look like a hot mess, I apologize, but I wanted to do something today <laughs> that I don't do, that everyone else does, which is cook. Um, I'm working on becoming better as a cook, and by working on it, I mean in my head, I have the goal to work toward it, yet I haven't actually worked toward it. Um, that being said, I'm starving, and I just had a bunch of groceries delivered, and I'm really trying to stick to a budget this upcoming month. So I thought, why not start today, um, the most uncomfortable day? Because in my head, I don't know about other people, but when I want to start something new or to start a good habit, I want everything to be kind of like perfect before. So if I say I'm going to start cooking, well, I want my kitchen to be spotless. I want, there to, like, I come up with every excuse why I can't start then or start right now. Um, and like why I need to start later, but that's not getting me anywhere. I haven't posted a video in a while, which I'm sure has been obvious to the like 12 people that follow me, but um, I've been super, super depressed, and I don't know about anyone else, but when I'm super depressed, I don't, I don't like do anything. I see, it's so interesting to me that I can, all of the ideas I have and all of my goals and everything that I have even like the day before or hours before I get super depressed that in my head at the time think it like feels good like oh this is the path I should be going on okay this is a project I want to work on this is something I want to tackle when I'm super depressed all meaning goes out the window it's it's like I don't see a purpose anymore um, even though I logically know that that is my depressed brain that that's not reality I still don't see a purpose and so I, I'm I don't do it and I keep saying okay well tomorrow I'll feel better I'll do it tomorrow and that just days and weeks happen and I'm not living my life so this new thing I'm trying is and it's hard it's a very uncomfortable it literally fights against everything I want to do but when I'm super depressed and like if something feels like what's the purpose just do it anyway because then I'll look back a couple days later or a week later and be just glad I did it um because it'll it'll make sense again to me that always happens no matter no matter what when I'm super depressed everything that stopped making sense to me makes sense to me once I'm gotten over that bit um so anyway lot was a long little blurb to say that I'm forcing myself to film right now is basically what I'm doing because I do have a bunch of other videos that I need to finish but I have paralyzed myself into finishing them so we're gonna start with this video and this video is me learning how to make a veggie burger basically which is probably the most remedial thing ever but I don't cook so why don't we learn with me all of that being said it is now four minutes into this video um, I am going to make a veggie burger and I think the first thing I'm gonna do well first of all I have to google how to do that mm -hmm. to google how to do that <laughs> because I got the beyond burger a beyond burger is sorry I'm looking at my computer that's why I'm not looking at the camera they're vegan and gluten-free they're made with pea protein instead of soy um, and they have like 20 grams of protein which I need more nutrition in my life right now so I'm really trying to get back on track just I feel like the more I'm on track with everything just making sure I get adequate nutrition adequate nutrition I'm moving more I'm socializing more I'm cleaning doing business things being creative when I do a little bit of that every day I I have the momentum to keep going it's when I don't that I start feeling extra bad about myself so we're gonna go with this so anyway I'm googling how to do this I can't find my tri uh, handheld tripod so that's why I'm holding this with my hand. I look awful, my goodness. But whatever, it's uh, this is the reality of depression, baby. Depression. Ooh la la. Um, okay, so I have to take the Beyond Burger. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to find. See, I don't even know if this is a, um, I just need someone to dumb it down. Like how do you literally put food on like a skillet 
and cook it. That's it. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so do I have enough battery? We'll find out. Okay, so where can I put you? Luckily on camera, my kitchen isn't reading as dirty as it is, so. That's what should be here. First things first, I'm gonna clean my messy ass counter. Wait, this was the countertop spray. This is a French lavender spray. I don't remember which one smells better, but we'll do the one that smells better. I'm always so tempted to throw all of my dishes away and start over because I let my dishes get out of hand. Instead of just cleaning them when I use them like a normal person, I wait and I wait and I wait to their point where they're like overwhelming me and then I just don't to do with anything and then I want to just throw them away about new dishes which is stupid so I just want like one clean counter I think that'll make me feel good but I'm gonna be making the Beyond Meat the Beyond Burger plant-based burger patties um there you go does it say on the back how to cook them cook thoroughly preheat pan to medium high to high heat and cook for three minutes per side see i don't know what that means like what how do i preheat it like how do i know it's there how do i know it's there and i know this is such a stupid question for people who cook but i'm sure people who don't cook have the exact same question because a lot of cookbooks don't start with the basics of like what does this mean anyway there's that these are the buns i've got Pepper Jack style slices, they're dairy free cheese alternative. Uh, these are basic, they're called, they're by Follow Your Heart, vegan slices. My battery is dying, of course. Okay, I'm back, got a new battery, probably the wrong angle, whatever. Um, all right, so I said those. I'm really picky about what I like on stuff, which is vegan butter, and then onion, that's it. Like, I'm pretty simple. I bought onions the other day and I don't know where they are. Like where all the stuff? Like in a pan, like in a skillet thing. Cause it my George Foreman, I don't know where it is. Well, just put it in the pan and put it in the burger it's it frozen. No. What's it look like? Like a burger? It looks Okay, so they're not frozen. No, it's not frozen. Does it give directions on there how to cook it? just it? says to preheat grill or pan to medium high to high heat, cook for three minutes per side. Okay. Don't overcook. That's all you need to do. I would, I would put it on high. Just how do I know when it's preheated? Does it say preheat? Preheat and then cook it for three minutes per side after you've preheated it. Well, just turn the pan on and leave it for uh, a few seconds and put it in there. A few seconds? That doesn't sound like preheating to me. Yeah, but the, it'll start smoking if you don't have anything. My stove came with this. You don't have just a fry and pay it with the handle. I do, but it's dirty. The stove has this. Can I use this? That's uh, that's way too big kind to cook one little patty. But I'm gonna Once put vegetables so on it. Hot. I'm gonna put vegetables on it too. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm cooking like broccoli and mushrooms and onions. Okay, I would just, are you gonna put some oil on it for the vegetables? Yeah. Can I use this? Let's see. Turn it over. It connects to my stove. the camera right. Yeah, you said I would because that other thing's gonna get too hot and you might burn your fingers. Well don't have the heat up too high because you 
What's what? too high? Huh? What is too high? Well, high. I would just put it like on me. Maybe I'll do the vegetables later. I just don't feel like cutting them up right now. This is why I don't cook. Do I put my mushrooms in now or wait? Well, you said if you only did that burger three minutes on each side, you're just gonna saute the vegetables. How do I know when I put the bun in? God, that freaked me out. It wasn't igniting, and then I said ignite, and it like exploded with fire. Yeah, I don't like gas. I never have. Wait, it sounds like it's cooking. How do I know I'm not going to overcook it? I don't know. God, it's recording. Holy crap. I guess my memory card was full or something because midway through that mess of me cooking, it turned off. And then when I hit the little like recordy thing, it just beeped at me. So I didn't get to finish. Anyway, I made it. It tasted good. I took a picture of it. It's the best I could do. And so that's it for my dumb video. I am going to, hopefully this will um, make me feel a little better about just getting back to my normal routine with life. So anyway, I ate. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do right now. All right, well thank you for watching my, <laughs> me attempt to cook, actually successfully cook a Beyond Burger. Um, and to try to get myself out of this depressive funk and do stuff today. Um, and I'm in a much better mood. You don't know what I was before, but this is like a whole different me. So that's good. Um, all right. I will see you then whenever I decide to film another video. And hopefully that will be very, very soon. Very, very soon. I'm making myself get all this done. All right. Bye.